When the Lord restored the fortunes of Zion, we were like those who dream. Then our mouth was filled with laughter, and our tongue with shouts of joy. Then they said amongst the nations, The Lord has done great things for them. The Lord has done great things for us. We are glad. For you have never failed me. Three thousand years. Okay, so I'm going to try to get some In the 21st century, many people say that Africa no longer needs evangelists or pastors. However, Jesus says in Matthew 28, all authority in heaven and on earth has been given to me. Go therefore and make disciples of all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father, of the Son, of the Holy Spirit, and teaching them to observe all that I have commanded you. And that is the key there. The African church is a mile wide and an inch deep, and they need teachers and pastors here to train the local people to teach their congregation. Musa Winkosi means God's grace in Sulu and the organisation strives to show God's grace to the Sulu nation in rural areas and townships of South Africa. One of these areas is the area of Entawini. This area is dark spiritually. It's dominated by ancestral worship and Sulu traditions and practices. Basically the, the people want to combine Christianity with worship and prayers and sacrifices to the ancestors. Another problem is the religion of Shembe, where people believe in a man who has come from the tribe of Shembe, who is their long-awaited Messiah. And this is again infiltrating the church, where people want to worship and pay money to Shembe, as well as serving Jesus Christ as their Lord. And the problem is that there is no solid teaching in these areas to tell them what is truth, that Jesus Christ is the and way, the, the truth, and the life, and what is false and needs to be taken away from the church. It's been great to have the team from Balamina Baptist out in South Africa this summer and to serve God alongside them. It's been a real blessing for myself and for Gavin and Lee and Charlton to have like-minded Christians who are there for the glory of God. We would ask for your prayer, Mr. Winkuzi, to support us as a church and as individuals by praying for us. One major thing on our hearts is that God will send longer term volunteers, people who will come and who can assist and take command of, of different areas. And there's a vision to go into Entawani, into Entelani and into other surrounding areas and we need people to do that. The harvest is plentiful but the labourers are few.
restore our fortunes, O oh Lord, like streams in the Negev. Those who sow in tears shall reap with shouts of joy. He who goes out weeping, bearing the seed for sowing, shall come home with shouts of joy, bringing his shoes with him. We would also ask your prayers for the church here in South Africa. We'd ask that you would pray for the pastors of the local churches, that they would be more in line with scripture, they would desire God's word, and that God would transform his church from his own word. No!